In a recent interview, I heard Dr. Michael Greger briefly talking about an extraordinary powder we can put in our smoothies. I wanted to find out more about it, so I headed over to nutritionfacts.org to find Dr. Greger has made a whole series of videos about it. Links below. It's a fruit powder and it's one of the most antioxidant rich foods on earth. Antioxidants are critically important because they reduce the harmful buildup of free radicals and reduce oxidative stress within the body. If free radicals are left unchallenged, they can cause a wide range of illnesses and chronic diseases. This fruit powder may have anti-cancer properties and not only appears able to block cancer cell growth, but also cancer cell invasion. This study found that it may work as well as a leading diabetes drug, and it's also been found to have significant cholesterol-lowering effects, able to fight inflammation, aids in digestion, and may even be able to increase your haemoglobin level. So let's hear as Dr. Greger tells us more. Links to all the original videos are below. In this famous article, looking at the total antioxidant content of thousands of different foods, to my surprise, the number one most antioxidant-packed single whole food on the planet, on average, was amla, dried powdered Indian gooseberries, beating out the prior heavyweight champion cloves with, just for comparison's sake, up to 100 times or more antioxidants by weight than blueberries. This is the study that originally bowled me over. The effect of amla fruit on the blood sugars and cholesterol levels of normal subjects and type 2 diabetic patients. I talked about the jaw-dropping effects of five cents worth of this powdered fruit, five pennies worth, compared to a diabetes drug. But what about the cholesterol effects? If you take healthy individuals and give them a placebo sugar pill, nothing much happens to their cholesterol. Ideally, we want our total cholesterol under 150. The average cholesterol in the U.S. is over 200, which is where the diabetics started out in this study. And when you give them placebo pills, nothing much happens either. But give people just about a half teaspoon of amla powder a day, and this is what happens. That's like a 35, 40% drop in three weeks. Absolutely astounding. Uh, that's the kind of thing we see like you know, six months after putting people on statin drugs. What we care about most is LDL, the so-called bad cholesterol, no impact of the placebos, but again, just about a half teaspoon of amla, and boom. These results knocked my socks off. I mean, they're just unbelievable. Preclinical studies have evidently shown that amla possesses anti-fever properties, anti-pain, anti-cough, anti-artery clogging, anti-stress, heart protective, stomach protective, anti-anemia, anti-cholesterol, wound healing, anti-diarrheal, as well as protecting the liver, kidneys, and nerves. They tested Indian gooseberries against six human cancer cell lines, lung cancer, liver cancer, cervical cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and colon cancer. This is a graph of cancer cell growth at different AMLA concentrations. Here's human breast, liver, and lung cancer cells starting out, powering away at 100% growth. As you drip more amla on, the cancer cell growth rates cut in half and then stop completely, and then amla starts killing the cancer off. The, the growth goes negative. By the end, more than half the cancer cells are dead. Here's cervical, ovarian, and colorectal, just decimated by Indian gooseberries. The best way to include amla in your diet is in a dried, powdered form. Now it has a bitter and mildly tart flavour, so it's advised to start with a quarter of a teaspoon, building up gradually to one teaspoon. Alternatively, amla powder can be packed into capsules. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.